There you are. Rest will be ready in a minute. You're not fed up any of it yet. What? Waiting on people hand and foot. Oh, I mean the calf. Mm. Listen, when you've cooked as many hot meals as I have in my day, it makes a change to get paid for it. Yes. I only wish Kath had taken on Bianca as well. It seems a bit unfair that somebody my age gets the only job going. Well, Bianca didn't put herself out to get the job, so I don't think you should feel guilty about it. Listen, Eleanor, uh, I've swapped shit for Pondon this morning, so um, can you pick me up some bits and pieces from the shop? I've written out a list for you. Well, what's wrong? Well, what am I, an errand boy? Oh, I just thought you're not on the store today. I haven't got anything else to do with you. Well, I'm babysitting Billy, aren't I? All right, suit yourself. Look, kiss her. I'll go, like you say, I've got nothing else better to do. Oh, there you go. Look, I'd better be going. Kath will be waiting. Oh, oh God. Robbie, you should keep that dog under control. It's your responsibility. He's not exactly worrying his sheep, is he? It's also breakfast, Emma. Cereal, it's in the cupboard like it always is. Mum, I've been working all morning. So? I'm hungry. Working man needs his food. Adam. How should I know? Yeah, you can have mine. I'm hungry. There you oh, go. Bless him up, sir. Listen, do you want me to drop Janine off at school this morning? No, it's no need. She's on Marie's daughter's, isn't she? She got her neck this year? Yes, of course. Yeah, I can't see Roy doing things by asking you. It's probably under way to chop it wrapped up in a big bow. <laughs> do you reckon I should get Bianca something? And they got some good stuff down the market. Bit old for an Easter bunny, isn't she? No, I can't, Bianca. Kath will be back any minute. And what would she say if she knew I was giving free meals away? It's only a plate of chips. She's hardly going to miss it, is she? That's not the point, Bianca. There's nothing at home. Not even a slice of bread. Oh, well, go and buy some. What with? Listen, if you hadn't took this job, I'd be working here. Then I wouldn't be starving, would I? I thought you said you didn't want to work here. I just didn't want to make you feel bad, did I? Oh, please, Gran. Go on, then. Sit down and I'll bring you something over. Mm -hmm. You're getting better here. Yeah. Oh. Only next time you want to try for something a bit more interesting than a plate of chips. Well, she ain't going to go for a burger or no, is she? I don't mean you, Gran, do I? I mean David. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, you should get him while he's still feeling generous. If you catch my drift. You just bought me them shoes, didn't you? Shoes? And this time I mean something really big. What? I'm sure you'll think of something. There you go, then. Thanks. So you're going to come back later, then? Oh, I don't know. It's having to get the bus all the time. Yeah. Shame we can't drive, isn't it? Yeah, well, that won't be much good without a car. A car? You'd never go for it, Tim. Why wouldn't he? He's got a whole line of them on the lot. All you've got to do is hand him right, get a few drinks down him, and you could be in the driving seat. Yeah. What's you up to? I've just been over to get a video of them. A what? I ain't really got no money. Would have been working in the cafe if my nan hadn't got there first. <laughs> Listen, you're probably busy. I wonder if you wanted to come over the Vic later. I thought it might be nice to have a chat. What about? Well, nothing in particular. Of course, if you're busy. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm not. All right, then. I'll see you in the week, after right. nine. See you then. Oh, hang on, Sarah. Come and take it for the video. I don't want to see you wandering the streets, do I? Oh, thanks, David. Thanks a lot. See you later. Oi, just an ambulance slot, will you? I wasn't coming in, was I? Where are you going then? I don't know. I decided yet. Yeah. Well, I'll decide for you. Here. Don't look at me like that either. Look, I'm the one that had to go and get them. Good. Mum's at work all day, so you should get the shopping. All right, see ya. Where's she going? Well, your guess is as good as mine. You don't you know? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Adam. I'll get to write in my diary next time, shall I? Bianca's 17. She does what she wants, you know that. Yeah, and gets what she wants. Do you think I like David spending money on her any more than you do? Hey, money that we haven't got? Me, money I ain't got. Alan, look, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, well, that's the problem, isn't it? What do you think Mark would like for his steaks, you know? Uh, ten pints of lager followed by a nice chicken vindaloo. 
Come on, Noise, you must be able to think of something. Comedian. Mark likes to laugh. I reckon we should get a comedian. Hi. Hello, babe. Hi. Oh, you and all, eh? Oh, what you having? Start the convert <laughs> What's funny? Nothing. So, why aren't you out tonight, then? Oh, I thought we were. We go. We're giving clubs a miss for a while, aren't we? It's too much asshole. Yeah, you can say that again. I mean, what with blokes coming on to all the time, it gets a bit heavy, doesn't it, Tiff? Heavy? Yeah, and what with the travelling? I mean, see that night bus? I'm surprised any woman gets off that in one page. Do you know that? You should get a cab home. You know, I'll always Yeah, pay... but you don't know them either. I mean, young girl on her own. Ah, oh, of course, yeah. Different if I had my own transport. It's not as if I'm ever going to be in a position to save up for a car, is it? Then there's the cost of lessons. Well, and... no. My dad taught me. He was really good, patient in that, and he reckons that every girl should be able to drive. I mean, you might catch a lift one night with someone who's had too much to drink. And what are you going to do if you can't take the will, eh? I won't be a minute. Uh, you know, I hadn't thought about all that. Yeah, well, why should you? Listen, you couldn't look for a little car for me, could you? Bianca, look, clothes is one thing, darling, but a moat is entirely different. Oh, I suppose I'll have to do without it, then, eh? I mean, it's not as if Alan's ever going to be able to afford to buy me one, is it? No. No, I don't suppose it is. You all right, I'll see you soon. Phil will be wondering what's happened to me. What about see, you see you later on. Oh, Alan, listen, uh, you still all right for tomorrow? Come for the store? Yeah. All day, is it? Nice one, if that's all right. Oh, listen, I've been meaning to ask you. You couldn't cover the wedding for me next week, could you? I mean, an extra couple of days. Yeah, no problem. Cheers. See you later. Look about the car. Maybe it's not such a bad idea. Yeah? I ain't promising mine, but if I see anything suitable, I'll, uh... Well, I'll think about it. Oh, what? Oh. If I'm not mistaken, I'd say Daddy's just promised her a car. Blimey. I can get up early when I want. Yeah? Alan was up and out by six. That's early. Early is a place that you've never been. Mum, why are you always so angry? That's a good question. One you do well to think long and hard about. I'm going back to bed. Don't go. Look, I'm not angry. Do you know what's the matter with Alan? Why? Oh, no, something's upset me. He came back from the pub last night in a foul mood. Has David been winding him up again? Come on, Bianca, what's going on? He's buying me a car. You fall for it every time, don't you? Fall for what? We've been through this before. He's just buying your affections, Bianca. Yeah, he's buying me a car, actually. How do you think that makes Alan feel? So what you're saying, I should say no to a car, just because it might hurt Alan's feelings. Yeah, that's precisely what I'm saying. A car? I told you. I said I'd think about it. That's all. I thought there was something going on between the pair of you last night. What is it with you men? Think all women can be bought that easily, do you? Janine, you out that bathroom yet? How was your evening with Roy? <clears throat> Don't change the subject, young man. How much are you thinking of spending on this here car? I told you I haven't decided anything yet. David, roll your sleeves up, please. You'll get polish all over your shirt. Won't stop with the car, you know. Mum. If I get her anything, it's just going to be a little runaround, that's all. There's only one person being given the runaround here. Janine! So where did it go? What did I tell you just now? Oh, wrong with sleeves up. Don't you ever listen to your mother. Oh, something's eating you, innit? Will you go and change your shirt, please? Go and put a clean one on. What are we going to do about it? It's okay, I don't care anymore. Hmm? What's the point, eh? So you want to let David Wicks buy the car? If that's what she wants. Hello. Her husband the last couple of years running around after that daughter of yours. My daughter. I can't believe you just said that. Look, I'm upset. I know. I've got a customer. I'll sort it out. Yeah. Right. I've got one thing to say to you, so you listen and listen good. My daughter's not for sale. You got that? Hey? She doesn't need your car, so forget it. And she told you that, did she? Just back off. Morning, David. Hello, oh, boy. How's your mother? Oh, well, she's fine, yeah. Only I was a bit worried. Uh, she had this headache last night. She is all right, is she? Well, why don't you ask yourself? If you're quick, you catch her. Well, is she going out? No, she's got a meeting with the brewery, I think. Some uh, promotion or other. Right. Well, Roy, um, are you going to be seeing Barry at all today? Well, I may well, yeah. I was wondering, could you do us a tremendous favour and ask him to keep his eye out for a little runaround for us? Don't matter how old, just as long as it's in a reasonable nick. You mean cheap? Yeah, that was the word I was broken for, Roy. 
No, seriously, as long as it's in good condition, right? Because uh, it's for someone special. I'll have a word, right. David. Appreciate that, boy. Come on. You're busy. Boy, come in. Was it you I saw driving off this morning with that horrible little stepsister of mine? Well, she's a smashing kid. I was only joking. Yeah. Now, listen, uh, about that run around you're after. Oh, yeah, did you ever work with Barry for us? Uh, well, no, no, I didn't, as it happens, but I've been ringing around myself on your behalf. Oh, really? Yeah, now, I'm expecting a phone call tonight at my home. Mm -hmm. I'm not making any promises, mind, but uh, I think you'll be pleased. What can I say? Well, you buy me a drink sometime, eh? Hi. Sorry, I'll make myself scarce. Uh, no, no, I'm I'm just leaving, actually, David. I'm not on my account. I... Oh, listen, did that uh, did that chap get back to you about the runner? Right? No, another time, another time, David, if you don't mind. Good night. What's all this? Yeah, but uh, ain't you two supposed to be over the road? What's what? Well, Kathy's laying on a do for the girl. No, you're off coming, thanks. What do you think then? Box fan. I think you're a great lad. So you're gonna get us a drink then, or what? Yeah, yeah, do you intend? Yeah. Go. yeah. What are you doing here? We thought we'd have more fun over here. Hello, mate. Do you want a drink? No. Look, your mum's expecting over a road. I ain't going over there. It's boring. Come on, Alan. It's not much of a choice, is it? Out of old women rabbiting or a couple of blokes. Look, it's a stag, mate. You shouldn't be here. Oh. You shouldn't be here. I've got suits on. Hey, you're lighting up, Helen. They're only having a giggle. Oh, I wasn't talking to you. You had me enjoying myself, didn't you? I'm just looking out for you, that's all. Well, I can look out for myself if you don't mind. It's your channel there, which you patrol <laughs> on foot up when we're attacking, back to Ron when they get the ball. So you're going to be playing football then? Yeah. You're any good? Oh, I haven't played for a while, you know. You look a bit like a footballer. Do I? Which one? I don't know. You've just got a look about you. Is that good or bad? Oh, that's good. Hmm. She's just got a thing about blokes in shorts. Actually, David, I bet you've got great legs. Symphony? I bet he has. Well, as it happens, I've got incredibly knobbly knees. <laughs> That's where I'll get them from then. Same again. <laughs> uh, pack it in, Mama. What? what? It's been all over him all night. What's the matter with you? What, you want for yourself? Oh, sorry, I forgot you can't, can you? Oh, it's embarrassing, Tiffany. Oh, cheer up, will we? I'm going to see old misery guts over there. He's been staring at you all night. Sorry. So go and put him out of his misery and leave me and David alone. Oh, yeah, you'd love that, wouldn't you? Here you go. Come on, then. So it's your knobbly knees. Behave yourself. <laughs> yeah, I could wax him for the big game, couldn't I? I'm going home. Oh, bye. I think you should come with me. Oh, it's early, yeah? I'll take home, Alan. Don't worry. No, thanks. I'd rather do it myself. B? Yeah, all right. Hope you two will be very happy together. Oh. We will. All alone. Yeah. Hmm? No, I was thinking, uh, if David gets that car he's been on about, maybe I could give Bianca driving lessons. Yeah, well, if you really want a nervous breakdown. Nah, seriously. Look, I mean, there's not a lot I've got to give Bianca, but that's one thing I could really do. And it'd be a pleasure to get one over on David Wicks. So, where are we going first then? Well, I thought we might go over my place to play a few tape wine Robbie out. No, that sounds like great fun. Got any better ideas? No. Got any cash? How would go? No, I'm skinny. Because if we had this car of yours, we could do whatever we wanted. Pull a couple of blokes driving stairs. Yeah, but we still need money for petrol and that. Yeah, well, David would sort you out there, wouldn't he? Plus, if he ever gets it. Yeah, he better get a move on. I'm getting quite fed up waiting. <laughs> This morning? Nor did I, mate. What's your problem? Better ask the old man. <clears throat> Morning, David. Morning, Roy. Is there, uh, is there something on your mind? No. Only this. So? What do you think? I told you he was a man of his word, didn't I? Yeah, it's lovely. Thanks. Take a look at this. Yeah, so let's go. So what? Oh, do you think Bianca will like it? Yeah. I'm sure she will. I hope you realise just what a bargain you're getting, eh? Yeah, yeah. I'm really grateful. Well, don't thank me, mate. If I had my way, it'd be on that forecourt at double the price. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's the keys. Special. Right, take her out for a spin. See if I like it. Like it? It's terrific. OK, well, I'll leave you two at it. Um, I'm going over the cafe for a cup of tea, OK? You pick me up when you're ready, will you, Barry? Will do. Roy, uh, thanks again. 
I won't forget. Oh, it's my pleasure, David. Anything I can do for you, you just let me know, all right? Right, well, I'll, uh, I'll bear that in mind. I never thought he'd do it. Yeah, well, yes. What is it? An escort. What colour? Silver. Oh, very flash. Yeah. The angle of the world, please. All right. Where's your drive? Lock. It's designed to keep little brats like you under control. Very funny, David. It's brilliant, isn't it, too? Yeah, it's all right. <clears throat> it's not exactly what you call class, though, is it? A bit jealous, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, look, don't you think it's fantastic? Yeah, it's lovely. <sighs> it's mine. All mine. It's not a wind-up, is it? Nope, it's not a wind-up. <sighs> Let's have a minute. On one condition. Oh, here it comes. I knew there'd be a catch somewhere. Oh, shut up. I do the driving lessons. I want to make sure you learn it all properly, right? <laughs> it's all right, I don't mind. Right. There you go, then. It's all yours. Thanks, David. Come on. I think we've got things to sort out. I told you you'd get it if he handed him right. I know. I can't believe it. Yeah. So, where are we going to go first, innit? It's a chance. I haven't even passed my test yet. Well, well, well. So this is it. What do you think, Alan? Yeah, it's great, but uh, I'm really pleased for you. You're a very lucky girl, you know that? I know. Right, let's get this on, shall we? Oh, great. We are you taking out on a test run? I don't know. I'm a bit scared, to be honest. Well, there's no need to be. I mean, we'll go nice and slow at first. We'll go around a square. What are you talking about? <laughs> you learning to drive. Oh, what, do you want to teach me? <laughs> Wake up, boy. Not so. Well, you better tell him, then. Tell me what? Look, I'd love you to teach me to drive, Alan, honestly. But the thing is, the thing is, is that David wants to do it. And unless he does it, she won't be able to have the car. It's a lovely car. Yeah, I saw David flashing past in it earlier. Oh, Bianca's over the moon about it. I'm sure she is. Thanks, love. Look, I know it's hard for you. I realise that. Oh, it's not so much me. It's... It's Alan. He feels so useless. Oh, Alan will be OK. He can deal with it. All right, love. What's the matter? Nothing. Come on. Look, I'm pleased for B. I really am. I mean, I can't afford to buy her a car. I can't even afford a tape for her to play in it. But I could have taught her to drive. I mean, I could have done that. Well, I think you're out of your mind. you know that? Oh, yeah, what's that? We've only just got the business up and running. Now you're chucking money away buying cars for Bianca. Mum, this is my money, all right? It's got nothing to do with the business. Yeah? Well, I'll believe that when I do the accounts next month. Anyway, the reason Deals on Wheels is doing so well is partly down to Roy and Barry. I've got to keep in with them. Oh, I see. You bought the escort to do them a favour, did you? Look, it was too good to miss. I got it half price. Yeah, you know why that is, don't you? I know what Roy's playing at. He's trying to keep you sweet so he can worm his way back to me. Don't talk such rubbish. Roy is completely straight. You're just so cynical you can't even see it. You know your trouble, don't you? You think the worst of people straight off you don't give no one a chance. What do you wonder? I've been kicked in the teeth that many times. Yeah, yeah I know. And every time it happens, you get that much harder. Well, I'm sick of hearing it. Roy's had a lucky escape, if you ask me. Cos you know what? You're so tough now, it'd take a bleeding sledgehammer to crack you open. You'd have finished him off if he'd have stuck around any longer. David! No, I'm sorry, Mum. Roy's well rid of you. 